Hey there, John Morris here, johnmorrisonline.com. Welcome back to another episode of The John Morris Show. So I got this comment from Brussels on one of my YouTube videos called The Re- The Real Reason You're a Web Developer. So he says, I'm a new sub to your channel, and damn, did this one hit home. I'm just starting to get to that stage when I think I'm ready to apply for jobs, but deep down want to be freelance. Having so many doubts though, but this video really helped clear some thoughts and worries. Still feels like I have a wet uh, way to go yet though. See, there's me worrying again. Really appreciate what you said, and now I'm off to watch more of your videos. So, in that video, I told a story about my son Davin and how when I was stationed in Texas for the army, I had got off early one day. So, I decided to run by his daycare and pick him up early so we could just kind of hang out for the afternoon. And you can you can watch the full video that's still on my channel for the full story, but basically I walked into him and his class getting screamed at. And it wasn't the, you know, kind of the constructive butt chewing that maybe sometimes people need. I'm not 100% opposed to that kind of thing, but this wasn't that. It was her calling a bunch of four-year-olds all sorts of names, like monsters and cussing at them. And just basically she was unhinged. And, you know, obviously that was a problem for me. But it's been probably, it's been probably about six years since that happened. And since then, Davin hasn't been back to a daycare. And he's also homeschooled. And there's some reasons why he's homeschooled as well. Um, and my son, Jance, he spent a total of maybe six months. He's five years old. So he, in his life, he spent maybe a total of six months in daycare. And that was home daycare. And it was a good friend of ours, somebody that we knew really well and trusted. So that's my why. When I talk about the real reason why you're a web developer, that's my why. Because the thing the thing about it is, for me, I never really wanted them in daycare. I mean, you can call me weird or whatever, but I just never liked someone else watching my kids. I knew that this there was the potential for this kind of thing. No matter how well that daycare happened to market itself, which it did market itself in a particular way, and this was the exact opposite of the way that it marketed itself, I just always knew that that potential was there, and I just never really liked sending them off to someone else to watch them. That's me. Again, you can call me weird, agree, disagree, whatever. That was, it's it's my thing. So the only reason that he was even in daycare in the first place was because he had to be. I had no other choice because at that point, I wasn't in a place where I could work from home. And it ate me up inside. I honestly, I was more mad at myself than I was at the daycare lady because again, I knew that that was the possibility. I really didn't expect a ton different. And so I felt like I had failed him that he was even in that position. And it was something, it's something I vowed to never let happen again. And so again, that's my why. It's what powered me through the late nights, through the frustrating code, through the <laughs> the doubt, the fear, all of it, what got me through that was that I had a bigger purpose. I had something more that I was pushing towards. So the point of that video and really the point of today's episode is what is your why? Why are you doing this? Is it family? Is it maybe just a sense of accomplishment? Maybe you just have a deep passion for technology and coding. You just love this stuff. Maybe it's escaping a life that you're tired of living. That's part of it for me as well. But what is it that drives you? What motivates you? Because if you can't answer that, you are going to struggle. It's going to be hard to put in the work that's necessary to get there. Now, If you can't answer that, if it's clear to you, if it immediately comes to your mind right now as I'm talking about it, and it's so important to you that it it almost makes you kind of start to choke up even just thinking about it, the lesson that I want you to get from this episode is don't forget it. Use it. Don't be afraid to let it fuel you. 
know, I, I think about that day in Texas a lot. I make myself think about it, how it felt to let one of my kids down and it's painful, but it reminds me that I never want to feel that way again. And when I feel tired, when I feel unmotivated, when I feel unsure, when I feel scared about something, it's the kick in the butt that I need to get up and keep going. Don't be afraid to do the same. It's also a stark reminder for me not to make excuses, to not just brush things off that could help me get more of what I want out of life and out of web development. Kind of like what I was talking about yesterday when I went a little off track towards the end, end of yesterday's episode. And what I believe is the real opportunity Udemy in its current $10 deal is. Now, when I say that, it's, it's easy to brush off. It's easy to make excuses. It's easy to shoot the messenger. But what's more important, being right or actually achieving that why? For me, what uh, of l never letting that day in Texas happen again? What's more important? What matters more? So that's something just to consider as you evaluate this. Again, what I want for you is for you to just think it through and make an honest evaluation of it and not brush it off, not just make some simple excuse, but actually think it through. Anyway, that said, if you've had enough and you're ready to start turning that why into reality to actually make it happen, then that Udemy discount link is johnmorrisonline.com slash June. All the training that you need to get where you want to go, in my opinion, is there waiting for you, I'm sitting there waiting for you to take advantage of it. You just got to make the cho choice to go for it. So as the saying goes, choose wisely. All right, that'll do it for this episode. Again, thanks for watching. Be sure, if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe wherever the button is, and we'll talk to you next time.